morning guys wow it just got really gloomy in here the past few days have been super gloomy and rainy and it just like meh. it just doesn't really make me <laughs> get in the mood to film when the weather is telling me to just cozy up in bed with some hot chocolate doing some skincare after that face mask today i am stepping on the gas pedal and just flooring it i'm not gonna overthink this i'm not gonna overanalyze my decision making today i have been feeling kind of eh kind of like i need a little refresher a little change i'm kind of bored which the greatest ideas always come from being bored so i really want to just take today to take care of myself give myself a little glow up and i'm gonna be doing all of this from the comfort of my own home everything that i'm using in this little glow up today is very affordable i'll have links to everything that i use down below in the description box pampering myself making myself look cute it'll just make me Feel good. I was supposed to get up today and go for a run this morning. You know how like the night before you're all pumped and you're like, okay, tomorrow I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna do this workout. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna do all this stuff and like get back on track with everything. And then you wake up and you're like, <laughs> Yeah, that's not happening. I was like, okay, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go for a run first thing Then I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna do some sort of like arm or ab workout And then I'm gonna eat breakfast and instead I slept in I didn't want to get out of bed didn't work out haven't eaten breakfast yet all i did was take harley out feed her do some skincare finish up some stuff for work and now we're here ah i'm so low energy right now i'm sorry some days are just like this anyways so what better time to do all of this for myself right now because honestly i really do think that it's gonna make me feel better. I'm gonna be doing my lashes. I just got these off of Amazon. They're like a wispy type of style. You guys probably know and have seen those TikTok videos of girls just doing their own lashes at home. DIY lash extensions and they last like about a week. Pay a fraction of the price. You can buy lash extensions anywhere. I'll link this glue down below as well. This glue actually came with this set. It's like a whole like little lash kit. I'll link it down below as well. You can choose the style of lashes that you want. The only reason I ordered these ones is because the style that I had originally chosen, these ones are kind of like the classic style they're not as volumized or like wispy very natural looking you're gonna take the bond side first a little tiny brush lift your eye up and then you're gonna just kind of like wiggle it at the very root of your lashes underneath don't go all the way through the length of your lashes just in the very root once i do that i'm gonna take the eyelash cluster and i'm gonna dab a little bit of the bond and plop it right underneath my lashes like that and then just kind of like push it up a little bit make sure it's still on your lashes not on the waterline or whatever you want to call that as you go in you kind of want it to overlap a tiny bit Once the lashes are on the eyes, I'm gonna take the other side, the lock. I'm just basically gonna do the same thing, go on the roots of the lashes. This is just gonna lock everything in, kind of seal in the glue so that way it stays on. Bada bing, bada boom, you got lashes. I'm gonna do my nails now. I have been loving press on nails lately because my nails are so healthy and just look so healthy and feel so strong even though i love going to the nail salon just like the whole experience it's very relaxing to me i love going in i've taken a couple months off from acrylics and my nails are just doing so good and also press on nails like they're so good nowadays like there's so many different styles and you can get them absolutely anywhere the other day i went into walmart and they had a huge like selection of like super pretty really nice looking press on nails i was kind of shook but i went on amazon and i actually searched up like fall press on nails i've been loving the like chocolate brown glossy nails and i found these almond shaped ones i'll link these down below as well but we'll see how they look because i'm not really a almond shape girly i know a lot of girls have a specific day where they do this because they do diy everything contouring with self tanner and stuff like that and i feel like you could literally do all of this stuff 
at home for a much affordable price. It's very therapeutic and relaxing for me. Sitting here, doing my nails, doing my lashes. It also gives me something to do. It's kind of like a little crafty, but you're also making yourself look hot at the same time. They're a little more pointy than I wanted, so I'm just taking the little file that it comes with and I'm kind of rounding out the edges. I don't like the whole like pointy look. I feel like it's giving, it's giving witch, you know? And I get it, it's October but I'm not dressing up as a witch this year. I'm also watching, um, what is it called? Fair Play on Netflix. Such a good movie. It's basically about this couple and they are in love. He just proposed to her and they actually work together. They work together in the same company. They're trying to be hush hush about their relationship because it could get them in trouble. They're both kind of waiting for this huge promotion. He thinks that it's gonna be him that gets the promotion. They're like super excited about it. They're hearing rumors that it's gonna be him. She's so happy for him. They're like celebrating before he even gets the news. You know, she's fucking happy for him. Like a significant other or someone that you love you would expect them to be happy for you. Next thing you know, she's the one that gets the promotion and he pretends like he's fine with it. You know, he kind of like, obviously I'm sure it makes sense to be a little sad. You wanted the promotion. It sucks that you didn't get it, but like the your fiance, the person that you just proposed to, got it. You would assume that he would be just as happy for her as she was for him when they thought he was gonna get the promotion. Or he congratulates her or whatever, but you can tell he feels some type of way. Like his ego is hurt to the max. And this man goes crazy over the fact that she's now above him in their company and he just can't live with it. He can't tolerate it. It just doesn't feel like she deserves to be the boss of him. Even when she did get the promotion, she was like, I'm gonna help you get up there with me, do a really good job at what you're doing, and I'll put in a word for you, and like, we could both get to the top, and it'll be great. Men's egos are just so fragile. Okay, my nails are done. Next thing on the list is chopping my hair off. I swear I'm not having a mental breakdown, okay? I'm thinking very clearly right now. You might think that this is a very impulsive decision. I mean, it kind of is. I have been debating on cutting my hair short for probably like the last year or so now. I'm constantly thinking about it. So I feel like if I don't do it, I'm just going to be thinking about it for the rest of my life. So today is the day we are letting go of these dead ends. <laughs> I've come to this decision after lots and lots of thinking, okay? I want it to feel nice and healthy. They get tangled a lot because my ends are just very like thin and dead. I wanna just start fresh. I've always been scared that I'm gonna cut my hair short and then I'm automatically gonna regret it and miss my long hair, but I do have hair extensions, so if I do crave my hair being long, I can just clip those in. So the more that I've thought about it, the more that I've been like, okay, it's really not that serious. Like, it's just hair. It should be fine if I cut it, and if I don't like it, it's fine. It'll grow back. I can use hair extensions, right? Please validate me. <laughs> I could have made an appointment and gone to get it professionally done. If it really looks like shit, then I will ha obviously have to end up doing that to get it fixed up, but I just don't want to wait to make an appointment. I want to do this now, so I'm going to do it now. I'm going to split my hair into like four different pieces. So what I've seen is that you take these little black rubber bands and I'm going to tie it where I want my hair to be cut. I think I want to cut it up to there and then I'm going to tie this part also exactly the same. I'm scared. This is so nerve wracking. Okay, I can do this. We're going to do this. I can do this. I'm gonna go right under the right under the elastic. Okay, here goes nothing. Just going straight across, baby. Okay. Oh my god. I am gonna go in and just kind of like point cut it so that way it's not like super blunt cut. And I do want to add some more like layers to the front. Now I'm gonna take these out. Okay. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Dora? Oh my god, this feels so weird. It feels weird that my hair just like stops there. This length is actually perfect. This is the length that I want it, so I'm not gonna go any shorter. I'm gonna go in and just kind of like point the scissors up and just kind of go through the ends of my hair so it's not super blunt. I love it! 
What the fuck? I'm not even done. She's kind of cute. Okay. bleeding. I'm gonna go shower, style my hair and everything, and we'll see how it actually looks. Okay, gotta go. I'm back. This is my hair. Oh my god. I'm fucking obsessed with it. It took a fraction of the amount of time that it would take to like blow dry and style my hair usually, so I love that. It also just feels so soft and healthy. I did go in and add a lot more layers because originally I just did like face framing layers, but then I felt like having all of my hair just kind of one length back here, it looked weird. Like it just didn't look how I wanted it to look. Obviously I'm not a professional, Professional. I don't know how to cut hair. I don't know what I'm doing half of the time The layers obviously are not super even but when it's styled you just can't really tell I feel like the only way to tell is if I just completely straightened my hair, which I never really wear my hair straightened Anyways, I did a nice little brown makeup look that I actually filmed for Instagram So that'll probably be up on there and I'll have all the products that I used linked on there I picked out a few things from Revolve, so I'm gonna give you guys a little try on haul. First off, we have this cute black mini skirt. I love that it's a skirt because I feel like with mini skirts, like I love them, they look so cute, but I'm always so terrified that any movement is just gonna show the cheeks, you know? It's kind of terrifying being out and about wearing a mini skirt. I don't know how some girls do it. Having it be a skirt, it just feels more secure and more safe, but still has the look of a cute little mini skirt. This one is from the brand Camila Coelho, and I'm also gonna have all the links to each of these items down below in the description box, so if you guys wanna check them out, they'll all be there because I don't really know the exact names of each one. And that skirt is in a size small, by the way. Then I got this top. This is a cute little white collar tank top. It buttons down, it's in the size extra small. This one is from Super Down. It's so flattering if you know what I mean. A nice little collared shirt. I have to wear this underneath a sweater and it won't be hot since it doesn't have long sleeves. Then I got this cropped puffer jacket. It's in this gorgeous like periwinkle color. This one is from L'Academy and it is an extra small. It cinches up at the bottom with these drawstrings down here. It feels amazing. It actually keeps you so warm. I've already worn this. It smells like my perfume. Next, we got some nice sturdy denim jeans. These ones are from Super Down. They're like a straight leg boyfriend jeans type of style. The bottoms of them are just like bluntly cut, distressing going on. Such amazing jeans. I love these so freaking much. They look good. They're gonna go with absolutely everything. They're like a nice staple pair of jeans. Then we have this cute cream, soft, fuzzy midi dress. This one, when I saw this on the website, I was like, this is giving like Thanksgiving, snow time, Christmas, like holiday vibe. It's a turtleneck and it's it just looks so like sophisticated, but it's also nice and snug and really hug your figure. This one is from LPA and I got it in a size extra small, I believe. Yep, this is a cute little like cardigan long sleeve top. This one is from Lovers and Friends. It's an extra small. It just feels so soft. Makes you look nice and clean without it being too much. It's very simple. We have another dress. I love this one. This is giving me Wednesday Adams vibes all the way. It's a collared dress. It's bodycon and it's nice and ribbed so it's stretchy but it's gonna fit beautifully. Buttons all the way down and then the sleeves are my favorite parts. They have this like fluffy cuff. This would look cute with like some black high boots. This one's also from Super Down and I got it in size extra small. Last piece of clothing is this cute little sweater vest. It's cropped. So cute. I got this for a specific look that I had in mind. This one is from More To Come and I got it in size extra small. I have been wanting like a cute little sweater vest, like a cropped one like this for a long time. You can wear it with a top underneath or you can just wear Wear it by itself. And lastly, we have a nice pair of chunky loafers. I style so many different outfits around loafers and I think they're really cute. They are from Ray. So they have this gold like accent in the front. They do give a nice extra inch, inch and a half of added height, which I love. That's basically everything that I got. Okay, here is 
the fit. I wanted something cute, but still kind of casual. So I'm wearing the jeans. I paired it with this cute Urban Outfitters corset top, throwing the little cardigan over it. And then we have our loafers, which are actually really freaking comfortable. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you guys want to check out anything else that I mentioned in this video, check out the description box down below. I'll have links for you guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!